What's the matter? I don't want to play this game. I keep losing at it. Hey, I love this game, huh? Why don't you two play a game that you both like? But then, which game can we both play? I know how to solve your problem. We'll use these hoops. But Abhishek, we don't want to play with these hoops. We want to play science or math games. That's not what I meant. Why don't you both place them on the ground? Okay. Abhyan, this is your circle. And Varun, this is your circle. Now, I'm going to start naming your favorite games. When I call out your favorite game, place the game in your circle. And when I call out your favorite game, place the game in your circle. Okay. Let's begin. Hmm. First game, Space Adventure. I like Space Adventure. Okay, place it here in your circle. Okay. Game number two, Underworld Science. Wow. Uh, I have to place it here, right? Yes. Okay. Next. Matt Dragon. Nah. Yes. I love this game. How about racing numbers? <laughs> Wait a minute. Does this mean that both of you like to play racing numbers? Yes! Place it in the middle. Okay. Do you see, racing numbers is inside Abhyan circle and Varun circle. This small overlap touches both the circles, which means that both Varun and Abhyan like this game. What we have here is a Venn diagram. Hmm, Venn diagram. Yes, Varun. A Venn diagram helps us understand the relationship between two or more groups. In our case, we used two circles for the Venn diagram. We have the games that Abhyan likes in his circle and the game that Varun likes in his circle. And the game that you both like in the small overlap here. See how this overlap touches both your circles. This means that whatever is in this overlap is common to both of you. So that means that the game that Abhyan and I both like is Racing Numbers. Hooray! We found a game using Venn Diagrams. Varun, let's play Racing Numbers. Sure, I can't wait to beat you now. <laughs> you come fast. <laughs> Thanks, Abhishek. <laughs> Thanks, Abhishek, very much. Three. Two, one, go! Wow. 